Hey, upper right hand corner. Um, I'm upstairs getting my coffee. And here he comes. I'm going to pause this and uh, zoom in a little bit and see if I can get a nice picture of the guy. And it looks like he had something strapped to his uh, right hip there. Let's see if I can... Uh, he's doing a quick rifle through the console. and A little fast forward here. Yeah, it looks like it could be a little knife or something there. Uh, you know, one of those uh, Leatherman blade. Again, this is 5.53. Now, he may have popped her trunk. That's just below the camera here, so we're not going to know. Let me fast forward here a little bit. I'm actually pulling out of the building right now. I feel really bad about that, so... You just have to be aware. And, uh, you know, keep your eyes open. If something doesn't look right, it doesn't look right. Doesn't mean you have to directly get involved, but, you know, contact me, call the police or whatever. But Still fast forwarding here. He might be going through the trunk of the uh, car on the right. There he is. Now he gets on in there. And then you can actually see him going through the, uh, through the console. I'm going to speed up here a little bit. It's obvious what's going on. Yeah, he's going all through the back seat. I'm gonna fast forward a little. In a situation like this, a lot of people don't realize that they've been broken into. Maybe you get into your vehicle and you think something's not right or something's askew or whatever. And um, a couple of days later, you realize you're missing a bunch of stuff. So he got a few items out of her car and he doesn't let the door shut all the way. I'm going to speed up here a little bit. He might be uh, with her hatch open or he's just out of camera going on to the next car. Working his way on down the line. He was down there for a while. He came in at like 546. Yeah, there you went. You just saw him going the other way. So I'll pick up another camera. Now he's, in the, he's been in the garage now for over 15 minutes.